Hey guys, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this fabulous day. Um, if this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you for coming by. Love, namaste. And please like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I upload my next video. Everything on my, my page is positive, you know, going through things and how to be able to cope with them, what different um, techniques and everything like that. If it's, you're my regular subs, my 420 family, much love to you guys. I keep you guys and everybody in my prayers. Um, I, Like I told you guys in my other video, I've really been just going through it, so I haven't really been on you know, YouTube really like that, and, and just getting on videos, like right now, listen to this relaxing music, you know, just get a good vibe, because today my video is about playing one-on-one, -on -one. um, when you feel like you're under attack, just learn how to let go and move on. Because it just seems like, you know, in my other videos, I was telling you guys about how my dad's um, numbers and my numbers keep, you know, synchronizing a lot. I keep on seeing 519, uh, 721, uh, 421, um, 77, you know, my year is 77. My dad's, you know, day is 70, you know, uh, his birthday is 70. And then the 21 came, you know, on the date of his uh, death. So I keep seeing that. And then, so when I finally um, looked it up and Googled it, you know, anytime you see something and you keep constantly seeing these set of numbers, please look them up. There's obviously something that could be going on in your life that, you know, spirit guides are trying to contact you. So I've just been feeling under attack lately, like, you know, I'm not going to give up. I don't care what's going on, what people say, you know, what my family had to say. I am not going to give up. I'm going to reunite with my family. I'm not going to say I'm a try because when you try, that's like basically setting in your life that it's not going to happen. You're going to say you will. I will meet my family. It's going to be soon. I don't know when. It's not going to be today. It might not be tomorrow. But blessings are coming. It's like rain. It feels good. Um, like me and my dad, I love rain. It just seems so calming and, you know, you're listening to music and, um, and it, it just, it can be really relaxing, especially when you're going through a lot of things. And it, it just seems like, you know, all my family members are, like, coming and speaking to me. And, you know, I keep hearing my dad speak, speak to John. Because I keep on hearing him say, come on, John, come on, John. So I was just like, you know, if that's Mr. Blackwell, you know, nice to meet you. You know, it, it just seems like... God's getting the army ready. He's bringing all his important soldiers home. And it, it, it just seems like we need to get ready. Because it's just like there's a shift that's going on. And it just feels like I'm under attack. You know, I talked to my adopted dad the other day. And it was like questions that I asked him months ago. He freaked out about, like, how did you know this? How did you know that? And now it's just like when I get on the phone with him just a couple of days ago, just basically trying to clear, you know, any kind of power that I feel like is hindering me, that I need to learn to let go, because it's just the fact is this man has had power over me my whole life, um, it's something I had to deal with, even though he'll, you know, he'll just sit up here, oh, now I don't know what you're talking about, now he has amnesia, and it is like, I said, I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to sit up here and let this man have power over my life like this. He has really did some detrimental things to me to where it really has scarred my, scarred my life. You know, I said, my father is gone. You know, he has transcended into something bigger and better. But it's just the fact is I never really got that physical connection to where I yearned for my whole life. I Like I said before, <laughs> you know, I've... When, when I first seen him on TV, I just started screaming and everything like that and didn't even know what was going on, but my, my mom knew. You know, she knew it was like no matter what you try to hide or what you try to cover up, a child is always going to know their family. So it, it's just like when you're under attack like that, I know I have been because my cat, it, he's been constantly laying on me and it's just, I've been doing research about that and it's like usually when your cat like, 
like lays on you or tries to get near you it's like they're trying to protect you from something and my dad's just warning me he's like baby be your blessings are here even though you don't see them and you're you know you're you're feeling like dag i've put all this work in for nothing and i'm not seeing nothing really come out of it i said i'm grateful for all the little blessings that i've had and it's just like when i'm going through stuff now i look at it like oh now you know more is starting to come to light i had to see how my adopted dad was what he you know everything is starting to come off like a veil and it was like i was proud of myself you know i told my dad i i surrender everything you know i one family member I thought that was going to help me. It just seems like, you know, I don't, I hope and pray he didn't, but you know, it felt like to me that I was betrayed and it, it took me a lot just to trust him just because the fact is, is on the side of that family. And I was just like hoping and praying, you know, good things came out of it, but you know, Hey, things happen like that, but it was just a lesson to let you know who is on your side and who's loyal to you and who is they loyal to. And I have to learn, I have to be my own best friend. You, you, you have yourself, you have to depend on, you can't always depend on other people to help you do this because on this journey, I've been basically by myself. And it was just like, I've met so many beautiful people and so many nice things and nice good vibes that I have. And it's just like with that family, you know, I had to let go and like God, I said, you know what, I, I'm, I'm not gonna wish nothing on them. I forgive them for what they did. I'm gonna let God handle that. You know, cause it, it was just like, it really hurt me when you're talking, you know, like you tell me I need to go see a psychiatrist. And I'm just like, every time we try to go see a psychiatrist, either you got my memory wiped or when they wanted to get deep into the reason why things were going on, they, they always cut the session like, no, we don't want to see you anymore. So, you know, there was always stuff to hide. And it's just like, I'm not going to go out and make them look bad. I'm not trying to do that. But it's just the point is, people need to know the truth. When you're going through something, and I mean, it could be very detrimental. And it's just like, there's sometimes I just look like I'm really going through this. I'm living through my own personal nightmare that I cannot freaking wake up from. You know, why should I have to go through all these things? Why did I have to find out this way? You know, uh, I mean, there's a lot of questions that I had to ask myself. And it's just like, you know what, in due time, you will get those answers. It might not be right now, but it's like every day I'm learning more about myself, more about my dad, more things that we have in common. And it, it, it's a very beautiful thing to me. And it's just like, when you're under attack like that, it's just like I had a panic attack in the shower and then my dad was like, hey, you know, it's okay. You know, everything is gonna be okay. It's, it's like, you know, when, when, he, when it was like, when my, I was having a conversation with my adopted dad, I could hear my dad just cracking up laughing like, ha, you just don't know, but it's going to be okay. It's really going to be okay. So it, it, it's just like, um, going through things, guys, it, it, it's just like you go through it and you have to pray. Sometimes you feel like God is not answering your prayers, but it's just sometimes when he is turning you away from something that is a blessing in disguise, that is a blessing in disguise. When you feel like people have ran from you and deserted you, that when you pray for God, please get all people that are not right for me in my life or it means me any harm. And all of a sudden you start dropping people like this left and right. That's a good thing. That means that they weren't meant to be there in the first place. And it's just like when I told you earlier, when I was looking up those numbers and I looked under, it was like sacred something under Google. And I'm telling you, they, I mean, it was telling me about how a situation like I, I, I have an imaginary friend that I talk to and I might even had that occasion in the shower and I've had a video a couple of a couple of weeks ago that I was telling you guys about an incident that I had in the shower with my dad and it was just like weird like okay can you not talk to me while I'm in the shower that feels so awkward he's like well this is the only way I can get your attention so you know and plus he said girl I changed your diapers anyway it don't matter <laughs> you know I'm not looking at you like that I just got to talk to you so, you know, it, it, it's, it was just telling me that, you know, forgive the people that put you in harm's way or you felt like you put it in harm's way. And I've talked to the people that I really 
you know, thought that was going to be there for me, or I felt that they, you know, they, they changed when they found out this situation. And my mom did tell me that when this situation comes out, it's just the people that you were really close to might step back because they might not understand, or they just feel like this is so painful. I, I don't even know how to talk to her. I, I don't even know how to help her. But it, it was just like, I'm, I'm blessed for the fact that I'm seeing people people for who they really are and how they work to me and I just send them with love and blessings I don't I don't I don't take it personal and at first I really did and I was upset like how could you leave me you know when I've always been a good friend to you and it's just like I need to learn myself and I had to go through that on my own that's why sometimes a lot that you know I don't feel like being bothered with people and it's not like me being stuck up or anything like that but there's so many things I have to deal with a lot of people just don't understand it and so because when I tell them about twin flames and indigos and empaths they're looking at me like oh okay and it's like okay well certain things you can't talk to people about because they're gonna think they're all for crazy but it, it's just like when you're under attack like that just pray just ask for protection it's just like I'm, I mean I ask for all the the prayer and strength that you know my ancestors the ones that's passed on from like my grandfather John my grandmother Maddie my dad you know my, my baby brother Amir um, my children that I've lost um, my mother my sister you know my best friends that has passed you know I said give me strength give me the protection I have to get through this because it's like it just seemed like I'm under attack, and it, 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 it's like my dad kept telling me the way I'm responding to it, he was so proud of me because I never came out of my character, even with my adopted dad, knowing he knew I knew he was lying, and he knew, but he, you know, I, I, I just told him, you know what, you have a good day, this is my last time talking to you, many blessings to you because I gave you that chance to be honest, and I hate for it to have to come out. Like, I had to find out about my adoption. I shouldn't have had to look through my medical records and find out I was adopted, even though I knew I was. But, you know, and I told him, I, it, this is just messed up how I had to find out this man is my dad. You know, and I'm hearing all these songs that he'd written about my, my mom and my dad, like, you know, Pearls Before Swine, um, <laughs> Thieves in the Temple, Computer Blue, if you listen to Computer Blue, the whole full section, you know, the whole song, because I know in the, the, in the movie, it's, it's cut short, because basically he didn't want it to put out that he had a daughter, but it's, it's like a lot of people, if they knew that a lot of songs that he has sang, or he has wrote, written, you would know that he had children. A lot of people are like, well, he never mentioned them. If you are a very private person, you don't want, you already paranoid that somebody's trying to hurt you. You're not going to announce, oh, yes, I have a child here or I have a child there. And it's just like a lot of where I used to live before, I guess it was a rumor that he did have a child. And I was supposed to be the child that people thought I knew. And it was like I knew there was something connected with my dad, but I just, that was just one dark secret I was not going to have out because just because of the things that are going on now you know people are like that's not true or whatever you never know especially with him there's a lot of things that people that are close to him that knows that other people won't know that my father was a very private person but I know he did love me there was you know even though I'm I'm not doing well uh financially or whatever but I'm I'm making it I'm doing what I needed to do and it's just like you know dad your dad left you like that I said no it was never like that I said my dad has helped people and you would never know it unless the people you know had said it themselves and my dad would never do that I said my, my dad somewhere here on earth he knew I was out there he just you know my family kept me hidden I, I was so it was a very well hidden secret that I didn't even know so I mean that was a lot to deal with and it still is to where I mean I went through so much and like right now I'm writing, writing a memoir memoir about my life from the time I was born from the things that happened it's called when finally when my, my dove finally cried and it's basically about my life that growing up on what all the things that I had to deal with to where I came to so many near death experiences I guess that's why I'm so 
in touch with the spirit realm to where they're just so happy to come towards me and say a lot of things where sometimes it's uncomfortable because I dare not to just call, pick up the phone and call somebody and end up getting cussed out. Like, why would you do that to me? So, but it's a good gift, but it's a curse and a blessing at the same time. It was just like when I found out that, you know, like my dad did the, did his group and called it the third eye girl. And it finally just, you know, like dad, it clicked just like the symbol. Uh, he keeps, you know, coming back and telling me that symbol is a symbol of me and you, our twin flame symbol. And I was just like, wow, yes, because it's just like our love for each other. It's like we, we can't put a name on it. There's, it's unpronounceable. There's no, I mean, there's, I have so much love for my dad. It's just, it's unexplainable. I can't even put a name on it. But it's just like when you're under attack right now, we're seeing all these people dying, like all these Especially all these celebrities, you know, my dad, John, my dad's drummer, John Blackwell, it was crazy because like two days before he had passed, it was like on the first or the second, I kept on hearing him call, hey, John, hey, John, and I'm like, on songs that I'm used to hearing to, but it didn't sound the same. I keep on hearing John, and I'm like, you know, I knew that he was having issues months before, but I thought everything was okay because I haven't heard anything, and many blessings and prayers to his family, and um, my condolences to them, you know, it was just so sad and it just seems like all the good people that are uh, are passing away have left a big imprint on people and it just feels like God is getting his army together and it's just like he picked the, the best ones to take. So, um, I'm, you guys, I'm, it is, it's just a weird feeling and it, it was just meant for me. You know, my dad told me I had to make this video today. Tell him how you feel. Tell him what's going on. You know, cause I try to make a lot of positive videos, as I said. And, um, there's a lot of things that's going on. And it's like my dad, I'm, I'm pretty much trying to do the same thing he did. Spread love, spread peace. You know, we all need to wake up and, and come together. Stop all this madness, this hatred bigotry you know the separation it's like we all are cut from the same cloth it's just we're different shades and sizes you know love one each other love one another you know it, it's just life is too short we, we don't know if today is going to be our last breath we need to live like today is our last you should never take life for granted and it's just you know, before I, there's days that I just wanted to kill myself because of the pain that I felt. And now it's just my love for life. It, it's just like I'm breathing for my dad because there's something, you know, he wasn't ready to die. He wasn't. And it's just like, you know, I hate the fact that he's not here. But even though I get to speak to him every day, I, I tell him it's not that I miss him. I miss the physical presence. I miss, you know, seeing him on stage and, you know, uh, playing the guitar, having fun, you know, seeing all the audience just awed by everything that he does. And I'm just so honored that that's my dad. So, um, you guys keep me in your prayers and I will definitely keep you in mind. Um, I will be talking to you soon. And like I said, if this is your first time stopping in my, my, my channel, thank you and namaste and love and light. And if you are returning, love and light to you guys too big ups to my 420 family and friends and everybody have a blessed week and i'll talk to you soon peace love and be wild